Well, when I was first approached by uh, Patrizio, it was wonderful to hear from him. Literally a letter, old school, <laughs> out of the blue asking me if I would be interested to work with him. I mean, I've worked across such a broad range of industries, from marine, product design, I've even designed a suborbital spacecraft. <laughs> Inevitably, uh, all of those things influence the way I approached this project. Well, what really impresses me about the America's Cup is it's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, sporting event in the world. One of the few areas of, sort of sporting endeavor that meets technology sort of head on, which is really kind of amazing. What's happening in the America's Cup is truly sort of extraordinary. We're seeing hydrodynamics meeting aerodynamics. They're moving out of the water for the first time. These vessels, these vehicles, I don't know if you'd call them boats anymore. They're becoming like an aircraft. It keeps changing, it keeps evolving. The America's Cup trophy, the old mug, is an incredibly iconic object. It's the one constant throughout the America's Cup. People, at least in boating sort of circles, know what it looks like. So I took the object itself, the old mug, and sort of tried to look at it in more of a graphic sense. I tried to sort of separate it from its three-dimensionality and look at it on a sort of a flat plane. You know, you end up with this sort of interesting shape. My job is not necessarily to reinvent the wheel, it's to enhance what exists and to take the best out of what historically is in people's minds and to sort of work with that. But really this is the first time I've had such a sort of profound involvement in a really, really, really big sporting event, which is incredibly exciting, slightly sort of daunting, but more exciting, in fact, than daunting. <laughs>